Hello fellow SREs, welcome back to SRE with Ben. In this video, we are going to learn about .NET agent instrumentation. Before we get started, I would like to thank all the people who have subscribed to my channel and to all the viewers who have been very active in the comment section, keeping me motivated to work more on my content and the quality of my videos. Thank you so much. If you find my content useful and haven't subscribed yet, I would request you to click on the subscribe button right away. Let's get started then. For the sake of this demo, I have set up an IIS server on my laptop. This is used for hosting .NET and C-Sharp applications and I have a default website. So when I browse the default website, this is the output of the website. We will be working with this default website for this video. The steps shown in this video can be used to instrument other .NET applications as well that are being hosted on IIS server. One major difference between a .NET agent and a Java agent is that when you're instrumenting Java agents, you have to install agents per application. Whereas when you're instrumenting a .NET application, you just have to install a .NET agent per server. If you have multiple Java applications hosted in a single server, for example, a Tomcat server as application one, application two, application three, then you would require three separate Java agents to instrument for all three applications. But in the case of .NET agents, if you have an IIS server, regardless of how many applications are hosted on the server, a single .NET agent is enough to instrument AppDynamics for all those applications. To install the agent, first we will need the binaries. So let's go ahead and download them. You can download the binaries from accounts.appdynamics as well, but I prefer it to do it this way give a name for your application, click here to download the package. Once you have downloaded the package and extracted it, this is how the folder structure will look like. You just have to go inside the AppDynamics folder and double click on the .NET agent setup. .NET agent instrumentation is pretty straightforward. It's a UI based uh, instrumentation and all you have to do is know how to click on next. So let's go ahead and do that. So accept the license agreement. Then choose the directory under which you would like to install the agent and click on install. This will get the agent installed. Post which we will have to configure the agent to instrument for various applications running on the ISS server. Now my agent installation is completed. The next step would be to configure the agent. We can do that by clicking on launch AppDynamics agent configuration here and click on finish. A .NET agent configuration UI will pop up. Here we can do the instrumentation configurations. If in case you forgot to select the launch agent configuration button and clicked on finish, do not worry. To open this UI, all you have to do is go to your run and search for AppDynamics agent configuration and click on AppDynamics agent configuration the same UI will open again. To configure the agent, let's click on next. As a first step, we will have to configure the log path for the agent. And in the below part, we have some of the identity for whom write access is provided to this log directory. You can add other accounts as well if required. Click on next. And you can see all the permissions have been granted here. Now we have to configure the controller settings and test connection to the controller from this agent. So first you have to give the SAS URL. Let me go ahead and get that. Your SAS URL is your controller URL. Port would be 443 since this is an HTTPS connection. We will have to enable SSL. Then you would have to configure your account name and your account access key. To get your account access key, you would have to go to your controller, go to license, and navigate to account. Here you can click on show to view your access key and copy it. You can see that this is my account name and access key can be seen from here. I'm going to copy this information and paste it in my agent configuration. Now we can test the connection between the agent and controller by clicking on test controller connection. Connection between agent and controller is successful. If you use any proxy, you can do that by providing the proxy settings here and click on test controller connection again and click on next. This section is very similar to what you see on the AppDynamics controller 
when you try to download an agent through the get started wizard so since this is a new application i will give a new application name if it's an already existing application you can select one of the names from this list after you have provided a meaningful application name you can click on next now we have to configure the tire section so there are two options under this one is automatic and the other one is manual if you select automatic and click on next app dynamics will create tires based on your iis site name so since my iis site name is default a tire called default will be created and the application will be mapped under it under the automatic setting for each application a new tire will be created by the agent and uh, mapped accordingly in the controller for demo purpose i will go through the manual method select manual and click on next now you can see by default the agent has detected that there is a web application on iis and what type of app it is dotnet and what tire it has automatically created a tire called as default tire if you would like to change that first click here give a meaningful name i'll give it as iis tire and click on add tire you can add as many tires as you would like based on the number of applications you have if you have more than one application on the iis server all the applications will be listed here corresponding to their tires to map a tire to an application first click on the tire then click on the application click on assign tire now you can see that my website has been mapped to the custom tire that i have provided click on next verify that all the settings are as expected once you click on next the dotnet agent will apply the configuration and complete the instrumentation now you can see that the configurations have been applied successfully and is ready click on next again and we are done with the instrumentation part it is as simple as that click on done now we can navigate under our applications and see that the dotnet agent has started reporting to our controller since this is a default website you won't be seeing much load on the application here this same method can be used to instrument dotnet uh, agent for other applications as well and your business transactions and other rules will be similar to what we have discussed in our previous videos now you can see that the agent has started reporting and its health is green let's go under the tire section and uh, make sure that the application is mapped under the right tire so this is the custom tire name we have given and this is the default website application and it has mapped and you can see the app agent status similarly if you have other applications running on the iis server you can map those according to their tires and view them from here with that we have come to the end of this video hope this was helpful thank you for watching happy learning